Hi everybody, it's Milby here and we're back for another Milby Reads Your Emails. Uh, today I'm listening to the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game soundtrack. So try and get hold of it if you'd like to experience that with me. It's a very good soundtrack done by Anna Managuchi. And uh, they're a band. They're this band who uh, they like a, they like have guitars and drums and stuff. But they they run them through. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of like SNES NES system or sound system that makes all their things whilst they're playing live sound like it's all like chip bit. It's it's pretty incredible. I highly suggest giving them a look at. Uh, very good stuff. So. Without further ado, though, let's get into it. Let's do our... Uh, let me just get my finger there. Let's do our first email. As you can see, I have no green screen up today. I just have my sofa, which is very comfy. I'm not going to lie to you. I keep falling asleep in it like an old man. <laughs> so, let's get on with it, guys. First email. Okay, our first... Oh, one thing. If you see a mouse going around on screen, I'm sorry. I, it shouldn't appear, but it keeps doing it. I don't know why. Anyway, <clears throat> our first one is from... You is dead. Hello. Uh, this is from You is dead, and uh, we all know You is dead from the fan server. Wait. Yeah, You is dead on the fan server. Or is he just the one that does the Minecraft? Thing? No. Ooh. Apologies. Pretty sure I, I've convinced myself you are on the fan server. I don't know. Hey, Milby, what do you think the future is going to be like in forty years from whenever you read this email? Also, come to the gaming convention in the U.S. at some point. I'll buy you a shot. I'd like to do that. I'd like to buy. It. I'd like to have a shot bought for me, as long as it wasn't uh, something horrible. <laughs> as long as it's not tequila. I can do tequila, but uh, it's not my favorite. Actually, no, I quite like doing tequila. The the the, the salt, <laughs> lemon, no salt drink, lemon. Very good. Uh, you could you can sexify that as well. You can do salt off your lady's neck, then do the shot, then take the lemon out from their mouth. Very sexy. <laughs> so, anyway, he was dead. What do I think the future is going to be like in forty years? I'm gonna lie to you. I think it's gonna be pretty pretty similar to how it is now. Uh, I, I I like I think a lot of people will be like, yeah, it's gonna be like flying cars and robots and shit. I don't think it's gonna be that different to how it is now, uh, with just technological changes basically. Like um uh, like I reckon I reckon in forty years there will definitely be a universal translation device. Uh I in fact I know that right now they are actually working on like a earpiece thing that like it's like a p it's like a piece of technology that you put in your ear. And it's like it learns like languages and and uh, and stuff like that. So it's like a translating device, basically. And I know that they're working on like a like an optical thing, like glasses, glasses, something like that. That when you read other languages, it will translate it into a lang another la a different language for you to understand, which is insane. Because um, technology is like so crazy. Uh, like the 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 a lot of the technology though, like people try. It's 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 crazy how like science fiction shows uh, like affect technological advances. Like you know in Star Trek, the the med the med bay thing, the the you know the beep, 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 they just scan you like oh you got uh, you got you got uh, you you got you got uh, you got violent diarrhea got going on there. Oh thanks, doc. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> and um. Yeah, but like they're working on those, like med bay scanner things. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane that they're working on like a thing that, from Star Trek. Uh, I, I you do you get a lot of stuff from like science fiction shows. People are like, I want to. This is something we could try and make because it's it's such a good idea. But yeah, in the future, I don't. I think it will be as it is now, except like way more polluted. I'm not one of those people who's like, we gotta stop the pollution, save planet Earth. Not to make fun of people like that, but um. Yeah, I think we'll have some pretty heavy, pretty badass pollution going on. Um, but I'd love it to be one of those futures where there's zeppelins everywhere. I don't know why those futures always have zeppelins. We got rid of zeppelins. Why would we bring them back? Um, so, yeah, I uh, the Hindenburg disaster pretty much, you know, solid, solidified, no, no zeppelins. I uh, oh, Speaking of zeppelins, I saw a Goodyear blimp zeppelin thing up above in the air a while ago. That was uh, interesting. Goodyear is still rocking the blimp zeppelins. Good on you, man. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think... 
maybe we'll all be driving hybrids. Probably not. But um, maybe at that point we'll be forced to drive hybrids. I reckon there'll be uh, DNA fingerprint scanner things to get to ever play to as like an identification thing everywhere. There'll probably be new and far more dangerous drugs available. Uh, maybe some new drinks. Um, I don't know. I just I don't see. I always have. I I got an idea. Every time I envision the future, it's always like a weird totalitarianism view of society where there's like mass poverty and uh, the rich live extremely rich and the poor are very very poor <laughs> uh, and there's like no middle ground it's it's weird I, I always always how I seem to see the future <clears throat> and I hope it's not like that but um, I don't know I, I, I think it will just be will will be the same I'll still be on a PC in a bed, in a car, you know, whatever. Uh, there'll just be better technology. A pro touchscreen will have kicked off big time there. Everyone probably own touchscreen TVs, I imagine. That's pretty coming in. Touchscreen, I think, will be like the norm, probably. Um, you know, just the. Um, I mean, they already got stuff like that. Uh, um, what's it called? You know, uh, the Minority Report, where they they grab stuff and they're like. <laughs> you know, doing all that Tom Cruise style. I reckon we'll have that. I can't. I can't. I can't imagine that'd be far off. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for that. That was a good question. Thank you very much. You was dead. And uh, let's move on to our next email. Uh, this is from Cole, and it says, "Dear Milby, I'm a fan from the west coast of the U.S. If there's one thing I enjoy listening to you from any YouTube, it's about relation stuff." Oh, not to you. It's about from any YouTube. It's about relationship stuff. Yeah, people enjoy that for some reason. That could include advice, experiences, good and bad, and maybe even current goings on. I ask this because you com commonly flirt with your viewers. Only the pretty ones. No, <laughs> I do. I'm pretty. I do it when I'm on Twitch as well. It's uh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a default reaction. It's really weird. Probably the most hilarious thing you've ever seen or heard. Oh no. Is it bad? Uh-oh. I'll stop now. Any random babble on the matter will be sufficient. Thanks for reading. Thanks for reading. Sincerely, Cole. So, so about relationships. I guess I could. I'm not really... I'm not, like, one of those people who's, like... What's that? What is that? Oh. Yeah, I see that right there. I had, like, a... You know, sometimes, like, you have, like, an ingrown hair or something like that? It's, it's not nice. I had to pull it out. And it was just like, ah! <laughs> it's like a lot of times you get that when you're, um... I had those. I used to get those on my face. I thought they were... A lot of them thought were spots, but they were, like, sort of ingrown hairs. They look a lot like spots, but... You gotta yank those hairs out. I went, especially when I... When you remember when I waxed my leg? Oh, I got loads of little spots on that from, like, ingrown hairs and stuff. I get that quite a lot, which is a shame. Um, I just looked... I just realised you could see the... Um, Rocking the old V-neck again. I was gonna wear. I was gonna wear a Shadow of the Colossus T-shirt actually, but I decided not to. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. Ah, relationships. I suck at relationships. I. I won't lie to you. I have. Uh, I don't know how to say this about me sounding, making me sound like a complete and utter douche. I've only been in like one or two relationships in my life, but I've I've been seeing a lot of girls. Uh, but I've only been in like two relationships. If you, I think you can gather what I mean by that. Um, I'm not. I don't know. I I didn't used to be a very big relationship guy. Um, I was a bit like ah, I I was more like ah, let's just. Let's just see each other, you know. Let's just uh, let's let's just have a I don't know a fling. <laughs> we let's just not call it a relationship, okay? Whatever, just don't call it a relationship. It freaks me out. And um, yeah, so like that was that was me for a while, and then I met oh, a girl who had like a profound effect on me, and I ended up in like a, my first real relationship with her. And uh, and that was when I was about 
18 or 19. She was 25 or something like that. I have a... I do. I, I'm not going to lie. I go... I prefer... Not like old, old women, but older. <laughs> not all the time. I've been. I've had, I had like a, a relationship with an eighteen-year-old as well when I was twenty or twenty-one. I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, I it. Uh, she uh, she 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 was like the first girl I had probably had like a relationship with, and uh, I really enjoyed that. It was. It was really nice. Uh, kind of messed me up a bit, to be honest, <laughs> when, she, when we broke up. Um, I, but, like, yeah, I, I was, uh, was pretty enamored of her. I didn't realize it at the time, to be honest with you. That was the that was the main thing. That's what really annoyed me is that it wasn't until afterwards that I realized, like, how much I was enjoying it, like, how much I was into it. Um at that point, it was a bit too late. So I was like, ah, "That typical. You don't know what you've got until it's gone." Basically, so that was uh, that was that was really upsetting and fun, though. But yeah, I'm glad I had that because since then, although I'm still I still like being single, and I am now. Um, I do quite like. I would, I, you know, sometimes I'm sort of like, I wouldn't mind some, you know, persistent company. <laughs> It's a bit lonely sometimes, but on the on the flip side of that, one thing that I did when the second when I broke up with um with my with my ex, which is a while ago now, it was quite a while ago, at least a year or no more than a year ago. I don't know. It feels like yesterday, but it was more. It was it was a while ago. Um, my ex ex now. My other one was like the second relationship I was in was a really stupid short one that was. <laughs> it was I don't know if you could call it one uh, even call it a relationship but I guess maybe <laughs> it was on Facebook so what do I know very very adamant she was that I changed my Facebook status uh, <laughs> 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 you've got to change it like it felt like South Park you know what the fuck you didn't change your South Park status to South Park status? Facebook status to relationship wait you want to use Facebook to pick up women huh no I just Sorry, I didn't realize I had to change Facebook. I didn't realize that was uh, that was important. So, uh, uh, yeah, that was that was when I was dating with the younger one. Uh, I don't know. I like the older women because and I say older. I don't want to sound like I'm like like you know like granny rock, check rocking out down the uh, the retirement homes and picking up old ladies like yeah, come on, eighty years old, no teeth, let's rock it, woo, let's go, woo, woo, and. <laughs> Like, I just, I don't know. I like them when they're more mentally mature, I guess. Because every time I've ever been with an 18-year-old or young, oh, not younger, Jesus, no, sorry, that was, that was not right. 18 to 19 or something like that, or 20, it's, they, they, I, they just, they, they just, they're way too, and I'm not mature, but I need someone who is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but so so I am I am single, but it's it's partly by choice and partly because I am very picky and I'm not one of those people who even if I was really like lonely and sad, I wouldn't be like I'm just going to settle. I hate that. I hate that. I'm not someone who's going to be like, "Oh, I I'm so lonely. I have to get in a relationship with someone now." I I just I couldn't I couldn't do that. I could not do that. Um so yeah, I I'm single, but I wouldn't be against finding someone, but I on that on that I would have to be very much I I would not settle, you know. But yeah, I think that's enough now. Um I'm sure you're all incredibly uncomfortable now. I don't know. I'm very I'm way too forthcoming with some stuff, I think. Uh but yeah, advice, I have no advice. Don't be a dick. <laughs> don't love yourself too much. You know, don't uh, don't hit women. Don't do that. That's not good. That's not cool. Don't. Um, yeah, I don't know. Don't. Don't suggest freaky stuff on the first date. Yeah, that's that's never gonna go down very well. Don't uh, don't do that. Oh, well, speaking of relationship things, this is quite funny actually. Um, <laughs> Recently, like this, like, uh, 
like you know, coyote ugly, like a bar, like a coyote bar opened up re- around here recently. And um, I said this on stream, I, but I know I haven't actually said it to people on YouTube yet. Uh, and um, we were in, it's like a, the, pole, got the poles on the bar and they'll do the dancing. And we went there to check it out and they do really cheap drinks. So we were like, oh, that's just sweet. We might come in more often. It's got dancers and it's got extremely cheap drinks. So we were, we were drinking and uh, the dancers to these girls came out on the bar, started dancing. Um, and I was sitting there and I was just like, I recognize, oh my God, I recognize one of the dancers. I mean, her used to have a thing together. <laughs> we had like a brief fling. Because um, I used to work with her in a bar and it was, it was very funny. Uh, I was just like, I recognize that bum. I recognize that ass. It's, uh, oh my God, it's her. Uh, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was just like, I was like, oh my God, I thought she'd left, gone, like, moved away to Cardiff or something. And. It was it was a very surreal moment. Um, <laughs> locking eyes with her, going, "All right." I don't know if she recognised me at first. I was like, I had this, I had the pre cruel idea in my head of being like, I was like, guys, I should ask for like a private dance, be like, I specified like this this one girl, and then sit there, and she comes out, be like, oh, "Hey, well, I didn't know you was in here. What are you doing in here?" <laughs> what a dick move. But uh, it was that was a that was a it was an interesting moment. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Welcome to the seedy side of Milby's life. Anyway, next email, guys. Thank you for that, Cole. That was a was a fun email to answer. Also, I feel like that went on forever. How long was I? Did I just spend talking? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Insanity. Okay, everybody. We have our next uh, email. I just burp. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's just from uh, Jonathan, and it goes, Hi, my name is Jonathan. I wanted to send you an email after watching your latest upload video on YouTube where uh, you read your emails. I'm a big fan. Watch much of your live streams and videos. You're quite a funny and entertaining person. Thank you very much. Um, quite? Don't you mean very? <laughs> Next email. Uh, shit. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I, I'm i surprised you're subscriber number... 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 number on eight. A little stroke there. I'm surprised your subscriber number isn't as much as as what? Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm apparently my tongue has just gone on walkabout. I'm surprised your subscriber number isn't at a much higher place. And this is not written badly. This is me being unable to speak. Uh, isn't at a much higher place as you are my favorite Minecraft and YouTuber. I'd be lying if I say if I would say if I like your videos more because I'd rather watch your live stream at Twitch. Yeah, a lot of people think that as well. Don't worry. If as long as you like it, like what I'm doing, I'm fine with what it is. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on a lot of subjects that come up in live streams um, at last. I would like to say you're awesome. hope you can keep doing streams and videos for many years to come. Me too. So I have some questions. Feel free to reply, answer them on video, or skip them completely. What recording system slash program do I use? Well, I use Bandicam. Suggested to me... I used to use Fraps. Well, I'd go for the, I'd go for my, my history. I used to use Fraps originally. Uh, it's a bit of a resource hogger. Um, I need to get a second hard drive to record onto, as opposed to recording... And playing off of the same hard drive, uh, it would go a lot better if I didn't do that. But yeah, I used I used Fraps, which was a bit it was a bit it was a bit heavy on the PC. Um, again, I tried to use on on pause and pauses suggestion. He's a he's a he's another YouTuber. Uh, to use um, I'm not tired. I don't know why I yawned. I I woke up like two hours. It's four in the morning. I fell asleep at like seven in the night and woke up at four in the morning. I've got no idea what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he, he suggested using Deox Tory, but that was awful. Uh, he, he swears by it. I hated it. I had the worst images with jumpy shit. It, oh, it was bad. I hated it. Uh, so then I, and on MC Gamer's advice, who's another YouTuber here, I use Bandicam, and I'm using that now. And I love Bandicam. Bandicam is like my, 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 my jam. Bandicam is my jam. I love it. I don't know what I'd do without it. And I'm really glad that he suggested it to me because it's uh, it's pretty. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's pretty damn good to be honest with you. Um, and you can you can actually get it to record the audio and video separately so you can edit them apart. That's a bit more resource intensive though. 
Because basically, like how I do these is I record off of XSplit. I rec I've got XSplit up with my camera on it, and I record Bandicam off of XSplit. Basically, I'm doing this like you can see it. Actually, you could probably work. You, if you see that there, that's that's XSplit. Bandicam is recording off of XSplit, and um, that's a wall of games, <laughs> and then DVDs, and then more DVDs, DVDs, books. And games, just and there's some more games over there, and then there's just a bunch of shit that no one needs. Um, which, you know, how about that? How about that? Yeah. Um, would you like a tour of my room, real quick? It's a bit. There's no lights on at the moment, um, so I don't know if you can see. That's. Hang on a minute. I I cleaned this room recently, so it's it's pretty good at the moment. There's some scissors and a Devil May Cry game. The best Devil May Cry game. <laughs> Um, it's like a toothbrush there. Um, Dark Souls soundtrack. Or oh, is that Demon Souls? That's Demon Souls. Uh, there's a box of wires in. My bed, which is a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, yeah, I, I, I never tidy my bed. That, I don't know what that is. There's a, that, there's like a stuff of crap there. There's a sofa there. There's some things on the floor. Hang on a minute. It's just fucking hard to do this. Uh, there's like a, my HD PVR, which is burst, is a pineapple carton on the floor. I know, an, uh, an NES. Um, yeah, and some stuff there. Some smelly, good, some good smelling stuff up on the, uh, up on the wall by there to make me smell nice for the ladies, you know. <laughs> and, uh. About it. There's a fireplace behind there, behind that sheet, but it's it lets all the cold air in. I'm sure you just got motion sickness from that. It lets all the cold air in that thing, so I just don't. I have it covered up. It's it's a bit of a fucking nightmare. Um, well, there's a bottle of Disarano up by there, the right right there. There's an R two D two toy by there for some reason. I don't. I don't know where that came from. And there's there's a, there's a bomb on toy here. Got really off topic, haven't I? Ba bomb! Oh, 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 it's gone. It's gone down my crotch. There you go. Mmm. That man crotch smell. That didn't actually go down my crotch. Uh. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> that went way off topic. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go for free? Uh, I would go to. I would like to go to America. Just because I've never been there, I think it'd be fun. And I'd like to go to Japan, obviously, because and China again. Because every, when I went to China, everyone was so kind to me; it was awesome. Um, and I loved the I loved the people there. And uh, yeah, I'd like to go to America just because. Just because, why not? What would you do if you could? What would you do if Google Incorporated would get rid of YouTube? They won't. But if they did, I would masturbate myself to death. What is your favorite video game console? Uh, SNES. It's what I grew up on. The SNES. Uh, with my hips. Let me get my uh, hipster glasses on a second. I don't have them with me. Uh, I have like actually have a pair of like fake hipster glasses. Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, what's your favorite? Uh, yeah. So it's SNES. It's what I grew up on. It has like my fondest memories. Uh, so it's it's probably the SNES. Maybe the sixty four. But no, nah, SNES. It's it's what it's my first console I played. Unless you include, like, you know, the old DOS games on a PC, Windows 95, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, that was like, my jam. So, yeah, there you go. That's it. And what's my favorite game from that console? Oh, what's my favorite game from the Super Nintendo? Um, Mega Man X. Perfectly made game. Anyway, thanks for that, uh, Jonathan. That was a very... Again, just taking so long to answer these emails. I've read three emails so far. I have many more to get through. <laughs> Thank you for your email. Next email. Hi, everybody. Next email. I'm not sure if I should read this out. I'm not going to read out the name. Uh, I'm just going to paraphrase it because the email's a bit... There's bits of it which I feel a bit uncomfortable reading. <laughs> um, I'm just going to paraphrase it. I don't know. I might just not get rid of it. I might get rid of this. I'm not sure if I want to... Not making me uncomfortable. I just I don't know if it's something that I want to share with you guys. That's all. Um, basically, the gist is that this person is gay and they have a crush on me and they want to do things when they when they see my V-necks. 
Um, but they 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 don't think it happened because I'm obviously straight. Uh, obviously, not so obvious. People, I guess this is going to become a thing about why pe- in my my life and 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 gay people and people thinking I'm gay because I do this, and I'm quite uh, lively, lively. Um, how would I, I basically? How would you advise people and other people and them to get over this crush? I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't know how you do that. Um, okay, here's a good way. I would treat you like shit. <laughs> or unless you like, I don't know. Uh, no, I like. I've had in the past. I've got. I'm very comfortable with like the whole. Uh, I've been in my. If you ever come to my streams, I'm very much like pro whatever the fuck you want to be. I don't give a shit. And I dislike um, people who look down on others because of their sexual orientation or whatever. Um, stuff like that, I just don't like. Um, I hope this is a real email, not just some troll email. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i very much pro whatever the fuck you want to be. And I don't think it should... Re- I don't really think it's an issue. I think people shouldn't make an issue of it. Um, basically, I... Uh, yeah, in my life... I've had more than a few people think that I was gay, especially in uni. Um, there was this girl who I used to spend uh, a fair amount of time with. Uh, I actually generally just saw her as a friend. Um, <laughs> and this one night, I was I we were really drunk in a party, and I kissed this other girl, and she was like, "What's what he doing? He's crazy. He's gay." And uh, <laughs> and then there was like, "No, he's not. What are you talking about?" She was like, "Oh." Oh, and then I, I, I never really saw it like that. I honestly didn't. Um, it was weird. Uh, so like she, she was, she thought she had this like great gay friend, and I was just like, no, oh, I was just being your buddy. <laughs> I don't know what was, uh, I don't know what you were thinking. Um, so yeah, I, uh, that was that was interesting. That, that that's happened to me more than once. Uh, people think I'm gay. But yeah, I've had a few people in my life, uh, gay guys, come on to me. Pretty some, some like uncomfortably. So, like, I don't mind people being like, "Oh, I'm pretty good." Like, I take that as a compliment. I do. Like, I'm like, "Oh, thank, thank you." I, I take that as a compliment, <laughs> regardless of male or female. I, I take someone saying that they fancy me as a, as a massive compliment. So I was, so I was just like, yeah, thank you very much for that. But like, sometimes it gets a bit like a bit forward. I don't like overly forward um, with that. But um, you know, it's just you can't really do anything about it. Can you? One, you're not gonna unless unless you're really good and can turn me. Um, <laughs> you're really great. You can turn me. But yeah, I, I, that's just the way it is. I guess. Just had a. She has a weird history of stuff like that. I think I can be quite flamboyant and quite, you know. But that that said, I can also be very like grubby, like right, right, male, sitting there watching TV with my hand down my pants, really absentmindedly with my hand down my pants, because I I don't know, um, not like masturbating while watching TV. I mean, just like just having my hand down my pants, just sort of sitting there, just like, <laughs> and then someone's like, "What are you doing with your hand down your pants?" <laughs> You're like, "Oh shit!" Sorry, I didn't realize. Um, I was checking for lumps, always, every day, just constantly, just non-stop just checking for lumps. I'm just like, nope, nope, no lumps there, but I keep checking. Um, <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I probably will put this up. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thanks for listening. All right, everybody. So you might remember last time we had an email from, uh, Kendra, uh, and, uh, this is her response to my response to that email. Hey, Milby, here are some answers to the questions about my questions and answers. That's a mouthful and a confusing sentence. Carrying on. Happy email. Happy my email could make it through before the great inbox cleansing of 2013. About the Wool Museum. It would be kind of weird if you did go to a Wool Museum. If you have not watched the previous episode, you won't get any of this, but don't worry. So she asked me about Wool Museum. Uh, if you kind of weird if you did if you did go to a mu- Wool Museum. It doesn't sound really exciting, and it's kind of funny that they actually have one in Wales. But you got to look up to some stereotypes. We've got a maple syrup museum over here in Canada. Phobias. I don't really understand the whole reason behind my being afraid of vehicles. Yeah, she basically 
Kendra said that she had a fear of like vehicles or something like that, and I was kind of just curious about like what exactly it was about them that she feared like it was going fast. But she says she can stand planes and trains, so it's not the speed because those are way faster than cars. But put me in a bus or truck, and I start forgetting panicky. Maybe it's the, maybe it's just like I don't know. Maybe it's all the other cars. It's not the going fast and thing. I'm just terrified of vehicles, like you're terrified of spiders. Well, I think spiders are going to kill me, so... Well, attack me. I don't know, maybe. I guess, yeah. I don't like the idea of being knocked out every time I go somewhere very much, as long as I have somewhere to keep my mind occupied so I don't act too bad. So she says, DC versus Marvel. So you hate spiders, but like Spider-Man. Interesting. Now, a lot of people said this, but... I mean, Spider-Man isn't a spider. He doesn't look like a spider. Unless you count the time when he turned into, like, the spider kind of guy when he tried to stop his powers um but yes but it's not the idea of a sp- like i don't mind spider-man he's not a spider he's not walking around like a sp- he's not fucking spiders like he's not look like a spider does he he's a dude in a suit with a spider on his chest and has spider powers he doesn't eat people um it's the spiders the way spiders look that fr- i'm just checking for spiders as i say that <laughs> uh, I always I have a I have like a habit of checking around me when I say spiders to make sure there aren't any, because you know when I, the second I say spider, I will, I will undoubtedly f- see a spider and freak the fuck out. Um, so yeah, I I I yeah, people said that I was like, well, no, Spider Man doesn't look like a spider. He doesn't act like a sp- well, he kind of. But yeah, I it's it's the look of spiders and stuff that like one of the things that freaks me out and the idea of them. Spider Man is not a spider, so I can it's fine. Five minutes in a bathtub with oh, she got mill so basically she got millipedes and centipedes mixed up with that question. Centipedes bite and cut you with their feet. And millipedes just have the legs. I don't really know about how it'd be guaranteed not to bite you, but it's kind of weird mental image to picture spider snakes and millipedes with muzzles. <laughs> Donatello is the purple one with stick. Oh, I, I got them wrong, didn't I? Uh, it's a called a bow. And Raphael is the one with the red bandana and the sigh. Leo is the blue swordsman. And Michelangelo is the orange with the nunchucks. There you go. That is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles order. Hope you're planning on playing some Bioshock Infinite. Yes. I love Bioshock. Bioshock 2 I haven't, I've only played five minutes of, uh, but I love Bioshock. Another game to keep an eye out for is called The Last of Us. Yeah, I saw The Last of Us. When I first saw it, I originally thought it was a trailer for another Uncharted game. Uh, it looks really interesting. It, very, it really does. Anyway, sorry for the long email and hope the New Year's treat you well. Don't worry, I spent a lot longer on every email. So anyway, Kendra, thanks for that. Uh, no questions, but just thought I'd read that out as a response to the last one. Hey, okay, so we have another email here. I'm not going to lie to you, the second I saw who it's from, I was like, oh, God. Um, because I, I, I knew... I, not in like a bad way. I remember this is from Sarah. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's an Aussie. I'm not sure about that. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the right person. She just sent me, like, really long, like, rambling, hilarious emails. Um... It was pretty interesting. It's, uh, it was pretty, it was pretty interesting. Uh, so I haven't seen the email from her in a while. Um, so yeah, this is from Sarah. It says, "Been a long time subscriber of yours. I first found you uh, when I'm pretty sure it's the same person. Uh, episode of my Endless Deep. Yes, episode five of my Endless Deep. I've been watching your stuff ever since. We have laptops at school, and when my teacher pisses me off, my fr- friends will tell me to go watch Milby, even though they have no idea who you are." Because once I finished, they always seem to put me back in a normal, hyperactive, crazy, erratic, good mood. I love your stuff when I bought Dragon Age on your second episode, and I love it. Just finishing my second playthrough. I need to finish that game. Uh, I kind of buggered up my character builds on that, and it made me not want to play it for a bit. I got, I'd be distracting. I'll get back to it one day. Pretty soon, I'm sure, maybe. All your content is amazing. It cheers me up so much. Never stop being amazing. Thank you. Oh, and my question. I'm just watching your email video. Yay. And you just answered a question to someone, didn't catch a name, made a video, and wanted you to sign a copy for him. Do you think that I could send you something to be signed? Yeah, of course. That and my friend would be amazing. That, my friend, would be amazing. And, of course, I have something in storage waiting for you to open your PO box that I've had since you first mentioned it. Yeah, I, I, I was actually supposed to sort that out today, and I didn't. Um... I have to do it today when I go out. I'm going out. Buy, I'm going out to buy Nino Cooney today. So, oh, I don't know. Today it's the first I'm recording this, so I don't know if this will go up on the first. 
It might. Um, do you think I could send you something? To, yeah, okay. So, um, sorry for the hideously long rambly email. I've seen longer from you, especially. Uh, if you remember my name, it's... Uh, if you remember my name, you'll remember that I have a bit of a habit. Yeah, you do, you do. Uh, right, I suppose I better finish up here. Otherwise, I'll keep going for infinity, and that won't be good. So, bye. I keep making videos. The happiness of 35,000 people hanging in the balance. Who's that? Do you mean like 49,000? <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> I was just playing around my mouth before I started the recording. <laughs> oh, I can do this. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I can't I can't talk when I'm doing that. Hang on. Uh, this is from Megan. It says, Hey, Bilby. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I've been a subscriber for a few, uh, a few being six or seven. I recognize Megan. I don't know where from, though. Is it my streams? I don't know if I've read emails from the or not. Uh, and they're a very pretty girl, if that is you. Um, I've loved every video you put out. Something about your sense of humor and mannerisms are what I like about you. Like I want most about you. There you go. This is one of those uh, emails that I'm reading because it makes me feel good about myself. And you read emails, so I felt compelled to write. I recently ended a three-year relationship and I've been taking it very hard. Uh, there you go. As I said, you're pretty. Making you feel better. Um, the day my ex-boyfriend and I broke up, you were live streaming, so I decided to watch because I knew uh, you'd be able to make me laugh. Well, I've had a few people say that to me. It's always very, it's always a very nice feeling to know that I can uh, cheer up people when they're feeling down and cheer you up just a little bit. Sorry for the typical mushy story, but I can't explain how much your videos and personality have helped me through some recent hard times. I can honestly say that you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. And I've been a huge fan since I subscribed. Six or seven months. When was that? That must have, that was a while ago. Hmm. See, it's a long term one, that is. Uh, it's almost been two years coming up in the next few months, so that's insane. Uh, I've been a huge fan ever since I subscribed, but I still can't figure out why you don't have more subs. I don't know. I think I keep driving them off. <laughs> they, they're, they're, they're embarrassed by me. <laughs> uh, with that being said, keep up the great work of your videos and doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. P.S. I was more nerv I was very nervous when writing the entire time. You don't have to be. So it's choppy and poorly written. I apologize. My nerves are an embarrassment got the best of me. Even if it isn't read on camera, I just want you to know how much I appreciate the laughs I've got from you. And sorry if I sound like a silly fangirl. Not my intentions. I have seen worse. That is not bad at all. I've seen some pretty... I've, I've, I've read some and not read them out on, e on emails. I've seen some pretty gushy like stuff. I was like, oh my god. This person looks like a stalker. <laughs> this person looks like a stalker. And if I read this out, it might encourage this stalking. So I won't read it out. One of your biggest fans, Megan. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Megan. Glad I could cheer you up. Why did he dump you? I don't know. This is from Mike. It says, do you even lift? No, I used to. I used to work out all the time. Let me show you my weights. Well, I used to I bought I used to go to the gym a lot, um, and then I stopped. So now I, I I then then I started using these. I was doing some doing some uh, doing some curls. That's not that is not the proper way to do it. I was just trying, <laughs> that's not how you do them. Um, <laughs> don't do that. You'll injure yourself. Uh, yeah. So I bought some weights and stuff. Um, uh, but. Yeah, I, uh... Oh, my music stopped. That's not good. So, I, uh, yeah, I... I used to. I don't anymore. But, uh... Do you even lift, bro? Not much. Not much. Hey! Never email here. Oh, my God. I don't know how many of these emails I'm going to have done. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, hey! Hey, Max. This is from, uh, uh, Sydney. Uh, the name Sydney. Um... First of all, I want to say that I absolutely love the DMC series. Me too. You've seriously got me hooked, and I've started going backwards and playing them all. When did you first find out about the DMC series, and have you played them all? I found out when the first one... <coughs> oh, God. 
I found out when the first one came out, and I've played them all since then. I'm not going to lie to you, the newest one is my favourite one. The reboot, I like it. I mean, the first DMC was good, but it's not aged very well. The second one was fucking awful. Oh my god. The second one was so bad. The third and fourth were great, but I'm going to ask you, they never had a very good story for me. Um... The new DMC has a good fleshed out story, and that is why it's my favorite. And uh, it's just a shame that so many people went into the game expecting to hate it because they're like, I don't like the fact it's here isn't right. <laughs> but so yeah, I hate that. I hate that people were doing that. You should give it a try before you start hating it. And I've heard a lot of people. Um, in fact, I've heard Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox on the Game Station podcast every day saying they've played the game and they enjoy it. Uh, he went. Jesse Cox went in going, "Oh, this is going to be shit." Um, but he really enjoys it. <laughs> and it's, a lot of people have been like that. They went in expecting to hate it. Maybe it was just poorly marketed or something like that. But they went in expecting to hate it. And they've changed their minds because it's a very good game. And anyone that says it doesn't play like a Devil May Cry game is a fool and hasn't played it yet. Play it before you judge it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, have I played them all? I have, yes. Um, uh, you remind me of Dante. I, you remind me of Dante. I, I, someone said this to me before. Um... I'm not quite that arrogant yet. <laughs> but you sh- I don't know why, but you do. Uh, you should dye your hair white so you can be the other brother, except you'd be Welsh. <laughs> I haven't really got much hair to dye white. I could do it. I won't lie to you. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a bald spot by here. I don't think I am. Though. It's just like where my hair comes out from. It's weird. Um... I should be getting a ball spot at 22, nearly 20, oh, 20, 23 in like the 24th of this month. So pretty few in a few days, basically in like 20, 20, 23 days. Um, yeah, but while, a while ago when I was younger, I actually generally wanted white hair. Uh, I thought it looked super cool. <laughs> and then I was just like, no, I look like an old man. <laughs> I don't want white hair. Uh, the white hair thing though was like that. That the reason he had white hair basically was that sort of it was the, it was the Japanese. It was a Jap because like what people got to remember is that it's a West the, the new the new company who made DMC is like a Western is a Western company. The original was a Japanese company looking at a Western through looking at Western through this weird Japanese filter of what's super cool and shit and everything was nothing. So it was all weird and just weird. So yeah, it had a lot of Japanese influence. The new one doesn't, which I actually prefer, because uh, it feels a lot better. Um, you'd be, so I guess Eva would have him explain to do if I was the third brother. <laughs> uh, I try to watch most of your live streams. If not, I rewatch them later in the archives later. It helps that you're really easy on the eyes. Well, I appreciate that. Um, please take off your shirt. Lol. From Sydney. I hope I don't sound creepy in this, but I swear I'm not. I think I sound creepy in this, but I swear I'm not. Again, seen way worse. Um, yeah, yeah, I probably won't dye my hair white. Maybe one day, just for a laugh. I kind of want to shave my hair off. I could do it and then shave all my hair off so it grows back. As it, you know, I actually don't want to shave my hair off. I didn't mean all that, so I'm bald. I always do a number two. This is like a number two. I wanted to try a number one. Like Jason Statham sort of shortness. Because Kurt sort of outdid me on that one. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, thank you for that, Sydney. Appreciate it a lot. Very kind of you. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm going to call it here because I've got about 40 minutes worth of... 43 minutes worth of editing to do. <laughs> i got to edit all this down now. It's about 40, I was checking how long it's been. About 43 minutes of reading emails. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry if I didn't get to your email today, I will, I will get to it. I'm going to record another one right after this. Um, I don't want them just, I just don't want them getting too long basically. Um, I will get to, I will record another one right after this. Uh, so, and I'll put it out in the next two or three days. So keep sending your emails in guys. I, I I get, I get, I get, get quite a few. It's just going to take me a while to get through them all. That's all. But I will keep reading them out because, uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's not, I like to, I like chatting. I do. So uh, until then, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.